Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Analyze the Characters of the Upcoming Dragon Age Inquisition Game. Today, we are going to be talking about another one of the advisors, Josephine Montiliet. Her description on the official website, The Inquisition's power is not absolute. It must earn its place among the forces in conflict. Sister Leliana understands this well, and has called on an old friend, Lady Josephine Montiliet, to be the Inquisition's ambassador in the halls of the influential. The eldest daughter of a Noven and Tevan family, Josephine is a rising star among diplomats, skilled at forging alliances with tact, grace, and carefully cultivated favors. She is a consummate planner, who understands that resurrecting the Inquisition will require support and goodwill from Thetis's movers and shakers. Fortunately, the ambassador enjoys a challenge, and she sincerely believes that the Inquisition is the best way to halt the chaos sweeping Thetis. Josephine, uh, I love that Josephine hails from Antiva. We haven't really had much representation of Antiva really since Origins with Zevron. Um, and in Again, she seems like a completely different uh, character, personality-wise, with Zevron. Uh, so getting her uh, viewpoint with Antiva through her eyes, I think, is, is something that I'm looking forward to when I'm interacting with her. I think that uh, in real life, Josephine and I would get along very well because we are both huge people, pe people, 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 we're, we're, I'm a people person, she's a people person, we're both people, people, and, um, uh, I prefer, you know, solving problems diplomatically than with force, uh, she definitely is the character where the pen for her is mightier than the sword, and, uh, will my inquisitor necessarily have the same mindset? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, my Inquisitor will necessarily see eye to eye with Josephine. However, given Josephine's skill at being a diplomat, at being um, someone who is able to reach out to different people vast with vastly different views, I would like to believe that my Inquisitor and her would still get along very well because that is her strength. Her strength is to be able to relate with and diplomatize with characters, including those that don't necessarily share her opinion. Sylvia Feket... Oh, gosh. Feketekuti. I want to say Sylvia Feketekuti. I like that name, if I, can, if I can pronounce it correctly. Is the one who wrote Josephine Montiliet. I love her last name as well, Montiliet. I don't know if that's. It sounds Orlesian, but maybe maybe it, it isn't even in nature, and I'm just pronouncing it improperly. But it, I don't know. Montiliet sounds such an Orlesian name. Sylvia continues by saying that um, she, Josephine is the head ambassador of the Inquisition. Originally, when she was shown in the trailers, a lot of people called her Scribbles. Uh, which I think actually originated not from the trailers, but when she was depicted in earlier artwork of Possible, there was that image going around of possible companions or characters in Dragon Age Inquisition, and, and she appeared with, you know, the little quill in her hand, and because of that, people refer to her as the scribe or scribbles. Apparently, Sylvia is very excited about her, about... Uh, Josephine's voice actor. Uh, she has been working very closely with them and the animation department to get Joseph to bring Josephine to life. Uh, and so, because she's excited um, in seeing her baby, her seeing Josephine um, become uh, to, to ma essentially materialize before her, I'm excited to see what the voice actor. And the animators bring to the table with Josephine's character. Especially because she is a people person. I think you are meant to like her character. Uh, and we'll just see how well she succeeds in that, I guess. Uh, apparently, she's very big into fashion. Uh, Sylvia, I think, mentions 
Um, she answers a question about who would win a battle in fashion between Josephine and Vivienne. Uh, while I feel like the last person on Earth qualified to judge um, Vivienne, um, they both, I mean, it seems, it seems like Josephine has a style of her own. Um, and uh, Sylvia says Vivienne will wear the latest hot contour, no matter how outrageous, and make it look good. Josephine appreciates finely made clothing, but when it comes to formal wear, she's a traditionalist. Of course, Antiva follows lots of Orlesian fashion trends, but Josephine's not going to admit that. Hometown pride and all. So it's it sounds to me like Josephine is... Uh, it is, 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 is sounds like Josephine is sort of a cross between... Zevron and Liliana, in that, you know, she's in Teven, but she's got Orlesian tendencies, <laughs> is how I can best describe it. I would love to see her and Liliana get into a conversation about shoes, because they were very good friends, and I'm sure at some point, if not still now, those two are still going at it, debating about shoes. Josephine is going to be a bisexual character, um, and I just hope that Bioware will be able to do, and whichever ones become bisexual characters, I hope they'll be able to do bisexual characters right, or, or do right by um, the bisexual community, because um, the experiences, I think, of a gay man or lesbian woman are different from bisexuals. And we already have, I think, the promiscuous bisexual in Iron Bull. We already have that. So I would love for them to tell a different story, uh, a different type of bisexual character um, in Josephine. Again, I don't necessarily think that they need to shove it in your face you know, hit yourself over the head with, by the way, she's a bisexual character. And, but, uh, and I don't know if they necessarily can or really need to tie in her sexuality with her backstory, like they have been able to do with Dorian's backstory. But uh, who knows, maybe Bioware will, will surprise us and have that play into a factor with, you know, with, her concept as a character, with the, her, her story concept as a character. That's pretty much all I have to say about Josephine. It's very short and sweet. Again, out of all of the followers and advisors, she's the one that I think has some of the least information available. Um, but that's actually not necessarily a bad thing, because that means that when I do meet her, it'll be a decently clean slate, and it'll be really awesome to be able to really get to know her in game and not have any like preconceived notions about her going in so thanks again for watching this episode of let's analyze dragon age inquisition characters tune in next time everybody and until then love yourselves and love each other